Hi, this is Dave, the original Fumbling Foodie, and I want to show you a real-world example of using a layer mask to adjust the exposure in just one certain part of an image. Now here we have an image of uh, my dinner the other night. This is a paella, and it's been fixed in a, in, in a normal fry pan instead of a paella pan. Uh, and I'm calling that article on my blog uh, Fry Pan Paella. And as we look at this, the paella itself in this pan is a tiny bit underexposed. But the rest of the image has a very, very good exposure. These stand out, and particularly right here, you can still see the detail here in the garlic. And if we, if we increase the exposure, we're going to lose that detail. We're going to blow out the garlic, to use a photographic term. And I'm, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to take the exposure. I'm here in Lightroom, by the way. And we're going to bump the exposure up. And you can see that now that I've bumped the exposure up to where I think it should be for the paella, we have blown out the garlic. You cannot see, in some places, you can't see where the garlic stops uh, and this whiteboard ends. So I'm going to show you how to fix that using a layer mask. OK, so we're going to go back to the original. We're going to right click. We're going to edit in Photoshop. And I'm going to bring up Photoshop. Here it is. OK. And so. I'm going to use a layer mask. I'm going to take and click on this exposure adjustment here. Now you will notice we have an exposure mask. This little white rectangle here is an exposure mask. So I'm going to adjust the exposure so that the paella in the pan is exposed properly about where I want it. And I think that I want it right about there. OK, but as you can see over here now, the garlic is all blown out. So let's fix that. And and so let me explain a little bit about how masks work. Um, we, we've increased the exposure in the whole image. And that's because this rectangle over here is white. Anywhere it's white, the entire change that we're doing, in this case change in exposure, is allowed to go through the mask and right onto the image. Areas that are black would block out that exposure change. So what we are going to do then is come up here to our uh, exposure properties. And I'm going to click on this other little icon that looks like a, a dark circle inside of a white square. OK. And I am going to come down here and watch this rectangle, this mask, when I click on Invert. You'll see that the rectangle turns black. We're back to our original exposure because none of our exposure adjustment is being allowed to shine through onto the image. Now we're going to again we're going to turn that mask white in this area here where the paella is. And so one would come up here to the brush. Select the brush, click on the size of the brush and I've already done that. And so now we're just simply going to take this area here that is uh, inside the pan and we are going to um, paint the white into this area. And as we can see as we do that, it adjusts the exposure and allows our exposure adjustment now to shine through the mask onto our image. There we go. And you can see now when we look at the mask, the rectangle is black and there's a white circle where we have we have changed the mask to white and so our exposure adjustment is allowed to shine through onto the image only within this white circle which is the area inside the pan and that's how easy it is to use an a layer mask to adjust exposure in portions of your image